Hey guys, I'm Raphael. Um, I barely slept this night, I think just four hours, which is of course perfect timing for creating a new devlog, yeah. So basically, uh, this video I think is important because I'd like to show the UI changes. It's actually the one of the reasons why we didn't post uh, or why I didn't post anything for quite some time. So, but if, I will talk at first about world, world generation, the hero um, um, creation screen, and then afterwards up about um, UI changes as well, you know, as all of the questions we actually got because we got like, I, I answered, you know, really just in the past few days, uh, like I think uh, 60, 70 comments or something. So there were like, plenty of very useful and interesting questions actually. So I'm trying to keep up with all the questions you're, com uh, you're coming so the screen, um, as you see right now, this is the world generation screen. Of course, later on, there will be, uh, this is of course still in development, so later on when you switch be between the tabs, you will then see like a different background maybe, and certainly also something on the left side, so you, see, you will then see some previews. Um, but basically what you're doing here, you know, you're, you're setting uh, the seat, the name, as you saw initially when I was uh, set of the talk, you, you see the land mass, you know, the islands or continents, temperature, humidity, and so on. The typical uh, world generation settings. Also, of course, the alien information and the human information. I will talk about those specific uh, configurations like, you know, humans, uh, aliens, and fungus, uh, which were important game mechanics uh, at some point. In the future, uh, there will be like a separate video on this. But so far, what you you know the get the getaway here is that you really can set and, and configure your planet, and your planet is actually uh, quite dynamic, and so uh, yeah, of course, interesting then to see, and can change, and so you can then also also share you know the seat with your friends and whatnot. Um, but this is how you can set it so which means yeah the game is procedural generated like everything here and of course uh, the setting was of the humans and aliens also affects um the cities and the villages and also the dungeons so because this you know because depending on the population or how old it is because like initially you, you saw on the first screen the start year so it you know the dungeons are not just dungeons you know there's a whole world here there's a whole law behind it of ruins you know city ruins and so on and so on because there's alien colonization going on. But again, I will talk about the law at a different point. So the hero and creation screen is special because here, as you can see, you can actually select different characters. And those are actually your hero characters. And you, as you can see, um, since we are doing such very complicated animations, but you know, with all the arms and everything, it's not as simple as in some other pixel art games where you can basically just uh, you know, just add like a different hat or something. So yes, there, 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 there will be some color customization, but of course, when you have, you know, 30, 40 animations per character, well, you, know, you cannot create, you know, so, so it's kind of, uh, when, you, when we're talking about hero customization, it's kind of tricky then. It's, it's actually much easier in 3D than uh, in pixel art. So yeah, I'm actually thinking and looking for solutions, uh, but let's say for now that you have, there's a number of characters, of different genders, of different backgrounds, actually, each, each, like each character has its own story. They can, of course, they are, they are sharing their part of the, of the world, they are part you know, of different races, part of different factions and, and different genders. And still, you can then, like on the right side, as you, as you see, you can you know, set up and also like your character traits, you know, being a coward or being brave. Um, it has an important impact on the game. Like, like NPCs, uh, when the NPCs, for instance, is brave and you are a coward or the opposite, uh, they will dislike you and it's harder to get in business with them at all. Like, so, and they may do something then about you or you may then try to get rid of like a negative uh, trait. So sometimes even negative traits or positive traits not always are the best. You know, when the governor you're talking to is a coward and you are brave, to give an example, or you're beautiful and he's ugly. So there's like a whole system behind it and then says, okay, you know, I dislike you because you are the opposite of me. And then it becomes a little more difficult uh, to interact with those NPCs and hopefully makes the game a little more interesting and uh, challenging. So as you can see, see here, you have then the possibility to change those uh, traits initially. You can, you know, name your character. You can uh, change certain traits, not all of them, you know, like gender, you cannot change gender here because of course, because of the, of the animations. But um, this gives you at least, you know, some decent, cool features in terms of uh, character creation. And yeah, and then you can pick different characters. I think what I've mentioned earlier, 
the characters are all part of the law and the world and there's a there's a there's a setting i will show you this later a, a whole set of different factions this this character you know the 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 astronaut character is the only one which is not part of the faction which is has some sort of like planet of the apes feeling to it because she it's actually a she uh, a female uh, she's not really part of the current timeline in the game yet still she appears in the game then and so she's not uh, she does not start to a certain, uh, at a certain faction so this too has some uh, some meaning because you're being part of a certain faction you made in or the other faction or a certain factions made in this light you uh, and i think when you think about aliens just imagine you know aliens are landing like in for real on <laughs> on, on earth at some point most humans will will dislike them it's not just, you know, like with the Native Americans and the Europeans, it's actually even more. So as you can see, so I am basically giving a few hints. I will cover those topics at, at some point in the future, you know, about the lore and how the mechanics are working and what ideas I had regarding, you know, survival and late and, and early game mechanics, uh, late and mid game mechanics. But I think this gives you at least hopefully uh, a good hint uh, for the beginning. So I think maybe let's pick tomorrow because I think in many videos I you see always this new mode character, so I would like to play uh, with the astronaut first. So once you have landed, then you can do all kind of stuff. I will not cover the gameplay uh, mechanics um, so much in this video because it's really about the UI changes and your questions. I will do other videos where uh, I talk specifically about certain mechanics, but yeah, just to cover in this video why you know, we were uh, silent for a few weeks. And and the reason is, as you can see, uh, if you compare it to the other, to the previous video and previous screenshots, it's actually the UI. You already see it here, like, you know, there's this uh, energy bar on the top left, which is, you know, a, a core mechanic of the game, which I will cover at some point, but not in this video. But, um, of course, we beautified the game a bit, you know, adding, like, more magic to it <laughs> to make it, like, you know, cooler with the camera rotation. You also see that the character is closer now. Uh, like um, you can of course still zoom out a bit, but he's generally closer in the standard view than before, which was you know before it was great for testing. But anyway, but the reason uh, is of course for this video are the UI changes. So this is of course uh, technically the old UI, as you can see. You know it's kind of cool, it's kind of nice, but it's also a bit clunky and also like very full screen. So I've been playing for for instance this morning, uh, New World. You know this game, but I think it's Amazon. And I've noticed that a full, full UI is kind of disturbing on PC. I mean, it's cool on mobile because of the small screen and it's kind of cool of console sometimes. But on PC, sometimes you have to be like, you have to be cautious. And I got sometimes a bit confused playing New World. And I mean, it's a big studio, or at least they have, they have some money, or pesos at least, <laughs> supposedly, supposedly. Um, then um, you would assume that they know about such things. So, of course, one, it was, this was like kind of working, but I felt like it was too much. You know, it was like always very heavy, and you couldn't, yeah, you couldn't easily drag something on, onto the terrain. So now the new UI, which you will see in a second, uh, is much lighter. You know, it's like um, contains of window, uh, it consists of windows, and there are you know, so many mechanics that can be uncovered this way much easier. You, you also see stuff, you know, like on the right side, for instance, you see the tutorial system where you are of course taught how to play the game but um, generally speaking um, it's, it, it's lighter it's easier uh, it's a certain you know art style change and ui changes are always nasty like if we change it takes ages sometimes when you really decide okay we have to uh, change it like because the programming part and it's not just you know the designers who are getting a heart attack it's also the, the you know as a developer and i i am um, working as a, as a dev myself on this. this is like really quite some pain so yeah but as you can see um it's now it looks cleaner hopefully you know cleaned up and um, um easier to follow you see um stuff like 
um, that the button change. You see, for instance, here the character screen, the, the new character screen, where there's, of course, the background of the character, the background illustration, but also, you know, like achievements. There's information about the family, uh, which I will not cover in this video, which is still in development. Yes, but you can marry. I will answer this question later, because there's a question about this whole uh, family thing later. But you have like you, you see like your character traits at the bottom, you see you know your stats, you see your body slot which you can set in the adventure, which you will see in a second. But you already see hopefully that the UI is now of course you see more of the world. So this I think this is one of the which is you know, the biggest because which is you know, which is the biggest one, the biggest screen because of the just plainly because of the of, of the illustration. So the other screens do not require such a big illustration. And you are as you can see here on the right side there's like this whole family thing. Um, yeah, and the, again, the achievements and stuff I will uh, cover at some point in, in the future. Um, other screens is, is the inventory, so the inventory also changed a lot. Like previously, as you saw a couple of minutes ago, it was like very, you know, very clunky, very big full screen, and now you are basically have like a very typical inventory with some body slots. Where you can do stuff. Oh, this is by, this, by the way. I this is basically just debugging items. I, I'm basically just playing around a bit and you know, fooling around, and just for the purpose of, of the video, just to show some stuff you know uh, that, you, you, that you can do. I will not cover again our topics, but just to uh, get the pickaxe up and running for the, the video purposes instead of you know, just doing the traditional crafting part. So uh, while I'm walking now, like around, I. I then basically comment uh, the UI, I will comment on um, the changes. So generally speaking, this is what kept us busy. We had some changes we asked for the feeling, like here for instance the skill screen, yes we have a whole skill tree system and tech tree system, you know, where you learn also more about the world by the way. So it's not just, you know, super technical, but it's also, you know, you learn about the history, what happened actually to this planet and what is going on. And this is how, for instance, how we unlock uh, stuff. And uh, you know, you, you using points, you're earning XP, and then you, then you're earning points when you go to, you know into the dungeons or when you you know defeat some some boss. Then of course you you're earning more, and then you're getting some you know some fresh super items and some fresh gear. Um, of course, the building mode, which is very important, you know, for buildings and building walls and whatnot, also changed. Now it's you know smaller, it's much lighter. As you can see, it's still a bit in development here because there are some. Uh, some stuff that is actually from the previous version but um yeah so this is of course what what can keep us busy there's of course also the template mode which you will see in a second right so this is basically where you can something that was i was missing in many games like many survival games because i'm you know i'm playing like a lot of survival games and many building games and and sims even sims you don't have a function where you can say okay i would like to build something and then i can basically just repeat it so you, so, you so you basically store it as, as some file somewhere. And this is kind of cool and useful for, you know, um, creating repetitive buildings or whatever, especially when you're in a guild or when you're in a clan. And so we have this function and we also use it, you know, to create the buildings in the city. So whatever you see online, like fancy city buildings, whatever, uh, it's actually done with this editor, maybe with a slightly older version. But um, yeah, everything that you see can it's actually made, so and we can you can actually basically like rebuild it and reuse it, technically speaking, um, because of course the game itself is like fully moddable. You can you know you can, you can mod everything and everything like, like everything that you see here can can be changed already. So uh, this is kind of stuff. And, but of course, like normally when you are trying to build something, which is not part of this video, of course as you can see, as you can see on the right side, uh, you also like require crafting. Um, other things is that this is basically just now a screenshot because uh, because of the video I, I didn't want to to recall it. Um, this is of course the world map. So the world map as itself also you know became now lighter. We be using certain shades. Um, this is uh, I will cover this whole faction world map thing at, at a different point because there is actually a video about this which I will not show like right now. Um, Furnace, um, this is just a, to an example, like uh, how the how now the building detail screen looks. Um, you saw it previously, like when you go back a few minutes, you see, you saw like the old version, which was, you know, kind of big and clunky. Now this, I think it's much easier. This is how you, it is by the way, how you craft. So you open the building and then you say, okay, craft me, uh, I don't know, it's the a wrench. Um, this is also like a design concept, but this is not implemented yet. This is of the social screen. 
Um, this is an important mechanic, you know, the whole family, you marry, marriage mechanic with your children. I will not cover this at all, but I think if you know Stardew Valley, you sort of understand, you know, where we are going. And you see also at the top, you see like all kind of factions, which you saw previously on the diplomacy screen. So yeah, because, you know, we are, of course, we are not as small as say as Stardew Valley, we're actually much bigger in terms of the law, at least. And so and I will basically just now like run around and then uh, comment uh, and answer the questions at the end because there were a few questions. So first off, uh, the feedback was very positive. <laughs> I was actually pretty surprised because, you know, we were quite silent. Or I was quite silent for a few weeks and then all of a sudden I started to post again and then come, you know, like I, <laughs> I had to like write within really um, two or three days, so lots of like different uh, comments. I think it's 60 comments or something by now, 65. And I didn't even start to comment again on Reddit. And so it's really based mainly Facebook now and Twitter, but it's still like, I'm trying to catch up with you guys. So when you have questions, please, please ask. And I would, I'm basically reading everything. So it just takes some time, some time. Um, the thing is, there was a question about Starbound, about Starbound vi uh, uh, vibes. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, of course, you know, uh, Starbound, uh, I think, it, I personally think it, this is a great game. I'm playing actually probably too much uh, sandbox and survival games. I'm really not so much into MMORPGs, but really heavily into survival games and sandbox games. And of course, Starbound is, I think, um, so um, I'm, but I will not cover this in, in this video, but I'd, uh, one of the ideas I had was really to go beyond Starbound. And, well, of course, Starbound also has like many strengths, but um, yeah, I think you see, uh, you will like eventually see uh, what I mean by, uh, you know, uh, where we changed the game or where we are it's slightly different. Um, there was a question about co-op. This is like, uh, this is one of those as FAQs is um, what about multiplayer? And yes, um, basically there is a, there is, um, um, unfortunately, this is uh, this is now cut out because he was like asking so many questions. Uh, so basically, uh, multiplayer, yes, the, the, there is a multiplayer server uh, framework under the hood of the game already. So the game actually runs as, as an offline server, by the way. But uh, it's not like fixed right now because we we made so many changes, and I, I think you know how this maybe with you know netcode and networking. So. It will, but the idea is really to have it to have multiplayer running, like real multiplayer, uh, at, at release, and to use it like as easy as possible. Sort of like an uh, my idea was like as Animal Crossing. Uh, the other question was of course about consoles and mobile. So yes, the idea is to publish the game first on PC uh, next year, and then consoles, which would you know would be PS4 and what comes out, you know, Switch and so on. And Xbox, and then eventually, once this is up and running, uh, then eventually at some point, then in the future on mobile, because the game is supposed to run on mobile as well. So we put some extra effort to make it, you know, as um, yeah, as light as possible you know, in terms of, the, of performance, memory, uh, and consumption, or usage. Um, yeah, this was a good question. I was actually asked very frequently about Steam, by the way. <laughs> so that's a very good point. Um, Steam is very important. I, I am currently setting up Steam, the Steam page. I was actually working, uh, I was actually waiting for the trailer to be done. But maybe I can just set up the Steam page without the trailer and then basically just update, uh, yeah, update the page. So yes, it's coming. It's actually coming next week, hopefully, or at least within the next days. So it's almost done. It's just now like some rewarding and spending hours. And so at least the page is up. The game itself will be like released early or uh, to mid 2021, uh, or basically to, to uh, next year. Uh, this is also something that actually came up sometimes about Unity. Uh, it's a very good question. Um, and yes, sure. I mean, the game is really done uh, using Unity, and we are, and of course, there's, there's like a whole voxel engine and everything, as you can see. So I hope that this. Once this game is out and up and running, uh, I hope that you know it might be one of maybe one of the more bigger Unity games, and maybe hopefully one of the more interesting um, games that hopefully maybe gain uh, some praise. Hopefully, because we yeah, we we, we spent quite some time on this um, beta. Um, um, uh, so yeah, this is like the the answer. This is sort of like you know I think when you cut out because there were like some following questions regarding beta because some people actually asked about uh, Kickstarter and about of course about beta or if we could combine it with with Kickstarter. I, th I think the last question that I will cover is about um, 
oh, now we actually do a switch to the night. Um, so uh, what about you know Kickstarter? And I didn't cover, and I did not follow it on Kickstarter, but there will be a beta phase, of course. I would really like to have more beta because we already had the like, test, testers, you know, friends and people we know. And at some point I would like to make some sort of like closed beta or at least you know, some, sort of, some sort of, and then eventually an open beta. Uh, Kickstarter in general, um, I backed myself many games <laughs> and I got disappointed so many times that I became a bit cautious about Kickstarter. This is like the whole thing behind it, that I hesitate about Kickstarter, actually. It is self-funded. You know, we are, we're actually a small team. Like, we actually started, you know, as two people uh, a few years ago. And eventually, I then found a way to hire a, a, a few more people, like until now. So, of course, the Kickstarter will be great. We are still, you know, independent and so on. So we actually totally fit into this whole Kickstarter thing. And, and I like Kickstarter. It's just, you know, I hesitate because Kickstarter was always like, but I, but again, of course, there, there were games like FTL and um, Darkest Dungeon, right? Who, you know, where it worked, where it was actually quite fine. And of course, I was thinking about doing Kickstarter maybe six months before release or something, which, you know, feels then maybe a little better to most people than, you know, doing this, you know, shitty Kickstarter where do the, you, would I always find you know difficult when you're then doing Kickstarter and then you're promising something in three years and then it gets postponed and so at least I think in our case you, I mean it's quite safe and um, quite well uh, established that we will release the game in uh, early to mid to, um, to uh, 21 and I think you already see like the progress so maybe Kickstarter would be like great at least some small Kickstarter just to help and because I see I get I get this that some people actually would really like to, to contribute right they would really like just to have some ideas and <clears throat> would become like a backer and you know just throw money at us so <laughs> I think it's great but yeah I, we have to to see about this righty so I think this is for now it's already like long enough it took me really many hours to finish this and uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, the next uh, devlog will come in two weeks and then I will maybe uh, but let's see what our topic I will then discuss.